Hey everyone, I got a really exciting show for you today because we are going to talk about a deal. Uh, we're going to welcome back Michael Butler to the show and what he's going to do is he's going to talk about an off-market deal he has and uh, he has it available right now. Uh, so I'm going to post this immediately and we're going to see, see what happens. But first, let's, let's welcome Michael back to the show. How you doing, Michael? I'm doing good, Michael. How's, how's everything with you? Uh, things are going great, man. It, it's fun to see you work. Uh, I know we did an interview uh, probably six weeks ago, and you you done a deal, and and now you you're you're doing one a month, and and you have some really really big goals. So uh, I just want to congratulate you for that. I appreciate you. Thank you. It's you, been it's been it's been fun, man. It's been it's been a real blast. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're helping people, uh, both sellers and buyers, and and that's that's got to make you smile. It does. It does. Yeah. Well, let's let's not hold it back. Let's let's talk about what you have. All I know is three bedroom, one bath, eighty grand, which which got me excited. That, that's a, that's a good number. So let, let's tell the story. Um. So uh, I'll give the address first, just sure. so people people can take a look at it if they're listening to it or watching us right now. They can kind of follow along with us. Yep. Um. The deal is here in Fresno. Um. It is the address is nine two six East Jensen. Um. Again, Fresno, California, 93706. Uh, so that is in Southwest Fresno. Um, the numbers, uh, to me, it makes sense. Um, it, 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 it will be a full full remodel. Um, I did estimate the repairs on my end. You know, obviously, everyone's going to run their own numbers. Yep. Um, I, when it's a full gut and it needs a roof and a uh, HVAC, mm -hmm. I pretty much do it at $27 a square foot, and I'll add $6,000 onto it. Um, so that got you around thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars in repairs. Um, it's a beautiful house, man. It doesn't, it doesn't have an attached, attached garage. It does have a carport. Um, but I think it's a great deal, man, for eighty thousand dollars. I mean, anybody who you know looking to buy and hold, or um, I wouldn't possibly keep the tenant in there. I would definitely get them out. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about the house first, and we'll talk about the tenant situation in, in a minute yeah. because, uh, frankly. The tenant situation is why somebody's going to get a great deal. Let's just put that on the table. So let's yeah. talk about that next, right? So a three bedroom, one bath house in Southwest Fresno. My experience say on the low end, it's going to rent for 900. You can count on that all day long because it has a carport, because it's going to be a freshly remodeled unit, right? You budgeted 35 grand as a wholesaler for, yeah. for the next buyer, which is awesome. That doesn't always happen. Um, you know, you could, you could get, you know, 1050. Uh, for something like that. So there, there's a $150 range. So, um, you know, this, this one is almost the 1% rule when you go all in. So that's, you know, that's hard to find in California ever. Yeah. And, um, you know, in today's very, very hot market, you're doing a good deal. So I also like the fact that you, you give real estimates, as you know, I, I've been in Fresno a while and, and, uh, there's a lot of wholesalers that have kind of tracked me down and, um, Let's just say their their estimates are jokes, right? Their, their <laughs> estimate out of four remodels, ah, it's ten grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ten like, grand. What are yeah. you talking about? Yeah. Uh, no, so so thirty five grand. I mean, I could I could do a full remodel. I mean, I could gut the kitchen, gut the bath, new floors, new paints, uh, new roof, new HVAC. You know, paint inside outside. I mean, that's that that is an all in number, right? At, at that level, you're going to get it'll be new, right? It'll be basically a new, yeah, yeah. new, new house. Footage. Yeah. So uh, what is the square footage? Is, I'm going to guess that part of town, just under a thousand square feet. It's under a thousand. It's at 921, I believe. So I did the estimates based on 930. Yeah. So it's, it's funny that 921 number is really common. There had to be a builder back in the fifties yeah. or sixties. And... <laughs> <You're the same laughs> <plan, huh? laughs> hey, you uh, have to run all day. Yeah, well, you know, somebody made a living and paid the bills off that. So that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. So 926 East Jensen, 93706. Um house. You, you get it for 80 grand, make ready thir uh, 35. What do you think the ARV is gonna be, right? Because a lot of people that watch this channel are excited by the Burr method. Buy, um, repair, rent, refi, repeat. What what does your gut tell you the after repair value, assuming it was brand, you know, brand new like we're talking about? What do you what do you think? I've ran numbers and, um, and, and that's why I say it just, it, it depends. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking, I'm thinking about 140, 150. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, I've had people combat those numbers, yeah. um, but I've also seen properties um, that sold around where I'm asking for it yeah. um, in worse condition. I mean, not even livable conditions recently. Yeah. Um, and so I feel like I'm, I'm pretty dead on on what I'm asking for. Yeah, no, I think, so again, I looked, I knew we were going to do this, right? So I, my, my low end was 135. The high end, though, is like 155, right? And, and you know, the, the market in Fresno is, is you know, it's, it's hot and you don't have these affordable housing, right? I can't remember the last time somebody brought me a wholesale deal under, you know, 80 grand or under. It's, yeah. it's, you know, this is like three years ago pricing. So um, uh, this is a good find. So why don't we talk a little bit about the seller first and then we'll get into the tenant situation, right? The seller, you, the seller you reached out to, you got in contact with, what, what's what's his story? Why does he want out? That, that kind of stuff. So this, not this, the seller came to me actually by a referral, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, it's, it's pretty freaking legit. Um, I reached out to, I reached, well, the, the address of another home that the seller has right. uh, was referred to me. Um, and when I reached out to her, um, she actually lived in Orange County. Ah. Okay. And so she has three properties here. Uh, one of them, she has a, uh, her son lives in it. And so she was like, but I do have one. I don't know if, you know, you buy in this area. Yeah. <laughs> I said, well, you know, I buy in Fresno County. So you throw it at me and let's yeah. see if we can make let's something go. work. Yeah. Um, so she threw it at me and I, and I kind of asked her, you know, why are you, why are you interested in selling this property? And she's like, well, I hadn't, you know, I've thought about it before. And I was like, well, you know, <laughs> Why, why, now? why didn't you go through it? You know, why now? And, and she, so she started talking a little bit about, you know, the, the tenant in there mm -hmm. and just her husband's sick and she stays out of town. She's, she's not a strong landlord in the sense of being mm -hmm. able to, um, you know, increase rent and things like that. So it, it, it's just been a huge burden on her. Yep. And um, I just told her that I'd take care of it for her and she wouldn't mm -hmm. have to worry about it. Yeah. So the key to that story is out of town owner, um, not um, aggressive with rent yeah. and this has gone from a asset to a headache and she's like yeah I want to yeah. you know t take yeah. this from me right which is why it, you got the price you got. Huge, it became a huge problem and, and she just yeah she, she's not a strong landlord she's a very sweet lady and yeah she definitely got taken advantage of yeah all right now let's talk about the elephant in the room the tenant <laughs> right. so it is tenant occupied and they're paying rent uh, or at least yeah. have a rental amount. I assume they're paying or else they would be gone. Um, so rental yeah. amount is pretty low. Yeah, it's $500. Yeah, which which is half of a conservative rent. So, okay. So <laughs> problem number one. So I understand she's tried to get them out before. So, I mean, these these tenants are, go are going to be a problem. Yeah, they're, they're going to be a problem. Uh, um, but at the same time, I, I do feel like um, her trying to get them out with her living out of town is a yeah. lot different than someone locally. Yeah. Um, oh, for sure. I obviously, I obviously tried to um, assist her in that in that process, but there's only so much I can do as a third party. Mm -hmm. um, you know, until the property is actually you know deeded over and yep. uh, sold and stuff like that. And so it's also another reason why I'm looking to push forward with the tenant in place, just because whoever buys this property, they're gonna they're gonna need to be more hands on with this. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, basic, the, the basic story is the tenant doesn't want to leave, right? So yeah, they, 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 were, leave, yeah. Yeah, they, they, they will do anything they can to stay. They're paying half of market rent. They know it. They yeah, have, I offer cash for keys. Yeah. <laughs> I offer cash for keys. Um, and it wasn't even, they weren't even told that they were going to have to be out. Um, it originally just started with me trying to get inside to get, you know, some pictures of the property. And, yeah. um, she just... She didn't respond. Um, yeah. And so I think the, the seller actually got a hold of her. Yeah. Um, then she called me back because she realized kind of what was going on and she apologized and yeah. um, she told me she'd be back. She said she, she was taking her kids out of, uh, for vacation. Oh, of course. Um, they, they planned it for the summer, right? And, you know, me just, I'm just trying to, you know, I don't believe it, but I'm like, you know, I'm just going to take it for what it is. She reached out to me. Yep. Um, she said, I'll be back on the, she said, 16th, when was Father's Day? The 18th. She said she'd be back the 18th of June. Okay. And I was like, well, that's two weeks from now, but, you know, I'm just going to let yeah. it ride, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so on Father's Day, you know, wished her family happy Father's Day because um, the meeting was the next day. And yeah. I told her, I said, you know, around what time would you be interested in meeting? 
Yeah. Um, she didn't reply back. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, she told me, you know, that she was gonna that she wanted to apologize, and she she actually wasn't gonna be back uh, that day. That she wouldn't be back till July seventh, <laughs> which is tomorrow. And um, I told her, I said, you know, I appreciate you for replying. I said, but that's not gonna work for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And at that point, I offered her, you know, cash for keys to be out by the end of the month, which obviously she didn't move. Yeah. Yeah. So again, so. Um, you know, again, you have a tenant situation uh, where they, they don't want to leave. They know it. They're paying half rent. So they're going to, they're going to, you know, they want to stay. So as, as somebody who has had tenants like this in the past, you know, here's the process. California has a, as, as a process to get people out, right? You mm -hmm. can do the whole uh, 60 day notice if they've been there longer than a year. Uh, you could, you could go to evictions um, if they've done for, you have to go to evictions for cause, right? So you know, assuming they played every game they could, um, you're looking somewhere between 90 and 120 days or three to four months. It's yeah. going to have to be someone on the, somebody on the ground. You're going to have to get an attorney involved right away, do everything legit. But at, at your price point, you're rewarding somebody for that pain, right? Yeah. So, you know, you're going to come in, you're going to, you know, because the minute they don't pay rent, you can go right to evictions, right? So that actually shortens yeah. the process. My guess is they're going to pay which, rent. They're going to fight. Which is already now because they are a month-to-month -month tenant. Okay. Um, and uh, I talked to a seller yesterday and they haven't paid rent. Yeah. Well, sh I would be – it's yeah. it's the sixth. So I'd be yeah. fine. <laughs> I'd be going to evictions now, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, this is just part of the game, right? When you're buying properties in, in situations like this, out-of-town owner, which I love to buy from, frustrated landlord, which I love to buy from, you're going to get a price point like this, 80 grand. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes it has hair. You've got to deal with the tenant and just hire an attorney. Get out of the way. Tell the attorney to get the tenant out. Lots of messes have one. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I think, I think the tenant situation is going to do the next owner a favor because you're getting yeah. it for 10 or 15 grand worth of equity to deal with the mm -hmm. tenant. Yeah. So, um, that's what I think. Anything else you think about this property you want to make sure people know? Um, I, I mean, I do, I do. I think it's a great area. Um, I mean, I know it's in a 93706 area, um, but I, I can't see those, the, the property on that, but that side of town, just, just staying down there for so long. I think it's something that if you can hold on to for a while, yep. this may not be for a flipper, you know, this is just, this may oh, be definitely buy and hold. Yeah. Someone who's going to hold on to it and um, watch it grow. Yeah. So give the address one more time. Uh, so the address is 926 East Jensen. That's and Fresno, California, 93726. Oh, 9706. I'm sorry. Yeah, and let's spell Jensen just in case somebody can't spell. J-E-N-S-E-N. -E All right, now for the uh, most important part. I'm hoping somebody is excited by this. They should be 80 grand Fresno house, mm -hmm. 1000 bucks rents conservative. How can yeah. they get a hold of you to say, I'm interested? Okay, so they can uh, definitely shoot me an email at Mike. 40jr at gmail.com or you can shoot me a text message at 559-366-2936. All right, people, send him a text message. If you're interested in this, send him a text message. And what's your phone number one more time, Mike? It's 559-366-2936. All right, Mike, congratulations on this one. I think you've brought us something and uh, I'm hoping you have some texts by, um, let's see it. This will be up by 9 a.m. I'm hoping you have some texts by 5 p.m. this evening. By 5 p.m. That'll, that'll work for me. Um, <laughs> you know, definitely appreciate it. Of course, man. All right. Take care of yourself. Let me get this loaded. All right. Gotcha. Uh-huh.